Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making home fried potatoes with onions and peppers. Don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more great cooking videos. Let's go shopping. You guys already know where I'm at just by the sound of my cart. You guessed it, Walmart. up some red peppers and some green peppers for our home fried potatoes I'm also gonna grab a bag of onions I do use yellow onions for my home fried potatoes so I'm just gonna grab a bag right here also gonna pick up a bag of Idaho potatoes I like to use Idaho potatoes when I make home fried potatoes because they don't shrink as much and they get really crispy and nice so I'm gonna just go ahead and pick up a bag of Idaho potatoes you can use Idaho potatoes or you can use red skin potatoes and you can leave the skin on the potatoes if you want to when you're making home fried potatoes. But I am for this video going to be taking the skin off. I honestly like to eat them both ways. I mean either way is alright with me. I just love potatoes so I can eat the skin off, the skin on. Just give me a bottle of ketchup and I'm good to go. I just gave my Idaho a quick rinse and now I'm going to peel it. And then I'm going to take the potato and I'm going to cut it in half. And next I'll cut it in half again. And then I go ahead and dice the potatoes up just like this. Whatever size is totally up to you. I'm going to go ahead and soak these potatoes in water while I cut up my onions and my peppers. Try not to cut them as small as I did here. Leave a little size to them because they will shrink as they cook. My husband don't really like peppers or onions in his potatoes, so I cut them up small. Put your oil in the pan. We're gonna wait for this oil to heat up. Make sure your pan is on medium, I guess, I wanna say medium to high heat. It just depends on how your stove operates. If your stove gets really hot, just go ahead and put it on medium heat. Now we're gonna drop these potatoes in the hot oil, like such. Is this your first time making home fried potatoes? You guys let me know what y'all think about this recipe in the comment section. Now we're just going to move these potatoes around a little bit only because I want the potatoes to brown up really nice on the bottom. You want these potatoes to be nice and crispy on the outside and you want them to be nice and soft on the inside. And now we're going to season the potatoes. I'm going to add in some sea salt. I'm also going to add in some paprika. Don't be afraid to season these potatoes. It's gonna bring out the flavor and believe me, it's gonna make all the difference in the world. Now we're gonna add in some black pepper. And we're gonna also add in some onion powder. Y'all make sure to use a non-stick pan to prevent the potatoes from sticking. And I like the fact the cleanup is a breeze. We are making restaurant quality home fried potatoes from the comfort of our own home. I mean, come on, you can't beat that. It's not really a lot of work involved when making home fried potatoes. This is like an easy breezy recipe. You're gonna just be moving the potatoes around a bit. You just wanna make sure that the potatoes brown on both sides without burning, that's your goal. I am making these home fried potatoes with bell peppers and with onions. Now, my husband does not like bell peppers and onions but I absolutely love them. Now he loves the flavor it gives the food, but to actually crunch an onion and a bell pepper, it like makes him cringe, but um, <laughs> I hopefully I cut them small enough where he won't even see them, hopefully. Okay, so now we want to make sure that we get those onions and peppers incorporated into the potatoes. So we're just gonna flip them like this. I have a question. If you have a spouse or children that do not like the way that you prepare a dish or an ingredient you may have added to a dish, do you actually make two separate dishes of that same item without the extra added ingredients that your spouse or children do not like? Or do you just make the one dish and if they don't eat it, they don't eat it? Y'all let me know in the comment section because this is a really hot topic. I have done both, but it's very time consuming and I prefer just to do the one dish. That's just me, but tell me what y'all do, I'm just curious. 
So as you can see here, I'm still flipping the potatoes. Normally when I cook the larger potatoes, home fried potatoes, I will cover with a lid and allow them to steam cook. But because these are smaller potatoes, I don't really see a need to put the lid on. I just want to make sure that the potatoes brown on each side. And I'll just continue to flip them until they're done. Continue to watch this video to the end to see the finished product. Don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more great cooking videos. I'll see you guys next time. Keep watching. Bye-bye.